This microphone, this one right here, I love this microphone. Today we are looking at the Roswell Pro Audio Colaris. Let's unbox it. This is the Roswell Pro Audio Colaris. It is a boutique vocal condenser microphone with a cardioid polar pattern. That's a 34 millimeter large diaphragm capsule with a frequency range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz with a three-way variable bass response switch to roll off lows or increase the lows for a more full frequency recording and there's a 10 dB pad switch. And the internal makeup consists of custom made filter capacitors with audio file grade resistors and a custom wound output transformer and a self noise of less than 12 dBA. Comes with a heavy duty flight case, shock mount and dust cover. You can pick one up new for 1259 US. Bang. I love the look and feel of this microphone. Look at that paint job. Growing up, my dad had a Cadillac this color. It's slick. It has that nice, slick, clean polish. You want it to like have some hydraulics. That is gorgeous. It's a, it's a heavy microphone. All of Roswell's microphones are hand tested for 24 hours in-house prior to shipping. That attention to quality and detail means they care about their microphone so i love that any company that has a standard like that you gotta you gotta check a box so tonally what they're going for is that they're going for the sound of the legendary telefunken 251 look at that look at that look at that guy is he i don't know they kind of they kind of went for the whole thing you can pretend i have the real thing in my hand that's a ten thousand dollar microphone maybe i should make that the thumbnail a 251 has a full-bodied rich and detailed sound. So that's what Roswell modeled this microphone after. They set out to achieve those characteristics without using a tube, without the maintenance and the noise that a tube microphone generates. So I've never owned a 251, but I have used one and I am familiar with the sound. The closest thing I have to a 251 in my possession is a LA320 from Lawton Audio. So it generates a lot of warmth. It generates a lot of that character. And this doesn't have any tubes in it, so this is kind of the closest comparison that I can kind of give you guys. Let's see what it sounds like in comparison. See the faces staring, but I'm out here on my own, and I hear them calling, trying to find their way back home. They're telling me, do I, do I? They're telling me, do I, do I, do I, do I go? Do I, do I, do I, do I go? Do I, do I, do I, do I go? Or do I stay? All right, so we have the Colaris on the desk here. I wanted you guys to hear what it sounds like. This is my voice about six inches away from the microphone. There's a really nice and full sound. I love it on my voice. Give it to you with a little bit of proximity effect. This is about three inches away from the microphone and about six inches away from the microphone here. And man, this mic is good. It has a stamp. You know, it has a unique stamp as a character. There's a personality that you don't get with a lot of microphones. I love that they own that this is a colored microphone. This is a microphone that you unmistakably choose. This is one of those microphones that you reach for when you're going for a specific sound. There's also a 10 dB pad, and this is what it sounds like with the 10 dB pad engaged. Uh, and I'll compensate with makeup gain so you guys can hear, but if you want a cleaner sound, you would engage that 10 dB pad if you're recording something a little more harsh, a little, little brighter. And, you, and this is what it sounds like with the 10 dB pad engaged. And we're coming back to flat land. Back on flat land, this is what it sounds like flat. There's also the three-way switch. So here's what it sounds like flat. This is what the microphone sounds like with the first position engaged. And here's what it sounds like with the second position engaged. And so you can kind of hear how it's playing with that low end. And let's go back to flat land. It creates a really nice versatility to the microphone. You can go flat, you can reduce the bass response, or you can give the low end a little kiss, a little bump. 
so it gives you some options when you're recording your source and man you have to love how this microphone sounds because it has it has such a character a warmth and a harmonics to it it is what i thought it was they are who we thought they were oh yeah I love the sound for vocals that you can pull out of this mic. You don't have to drive it hard at all to get that rich quality out of it. It's easy to work with the sound coming out of this mic in a mix because the recording's already saucy. Just a little bit of the Trinity, you know, EQ, compression, reverb, and you're done. So I never owned a Telefunken 251, but this is easily as good for a fraction of the cost. I wanna thank Roswell for sending me a microphone that I can show you guys. Sadly, I do have to send it back to them but I'll definitely be picking one up you don't miss with this microphone. It's a very characterful sound, and if that's what you're going for, this is the one you reach for every single time. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can check it out for yourself. So that's it. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.